Hello and welcome to another episode of the FTM's Guide. If you are new here, my name is Nikki DeWitt, your resident FTM, and today's episode we are going to be covering acne. Why does it happen? Uh, any advice on how to get rid of acne and really what to expect. So just a gist of it. First of all, in your FTM journey, when you start taking hormones, what you can definitely expect is you can expect some acne. Why? Because when you do start taking testosterone, you're going through puberty again. Remember what happened to your during your first puberty if you already went through it was, you know, your hom your hormones go up and down um, and acne happens. Now, in this case, what you really have to be, you know, what you have to keep in mind, especially when you're um, taking testosterone is naturally testosterone, that hormone, what it does to your body is that your pores men's pores and this is caused by testosterone you know it it's larger than women's pores so what ends up happening is more oil is produced and what happens when more oil is produced is it's more prone to getting acne and the reason why is when your pores are bigger obviously it oxidizes when it's bigger it gets easier to oxidize therefore formation of acne occurs now what you can expect where you get acne is anywhere where hair grows anywhere where you sweat a lot so these are the most popular areas that you do get acne you get it on the back your face your shoulders you can get it on your thighs as well and definitely on your neck your chest okay so what happened to me was um, it happened in periods and it happened in spots. So my first few months to a year of uh, taking testosterone, I had a lot of back knee. I had so much on my upper back only. I didn't have much on my lower back. And within the first, you know, uh, four months to the eighth or ninth, ninth month mark, that's when it started going away. But it was pretty bad. And it was especially on my upper shoulders, all the way on my back. Like I said, it's because hair is growing there and I had a lot of hair growing on my upper back so that's the reason but they're just thin hairs don't worry you won't some people do but like it can be really thick hairs it'd be really thin hairs but like I said anywhere that you can expect hairs to start growing you will get most likely you will get acting there also the next spot that happened to me was my cheeks because facial hair was coming in so I had cheeks but for me luckily the cheeks came in spots so it was like two, three, four spots there, then two, three, four spots there, and it would go away and it would keep, it would keep alternating. So once I didn't have any, once two would go down, another three would pop up, once another two would go down, another one would pop up, and it was like that. And there was a little bit on the forehead, but forehead not so much, maybe or like one or two, but it's mainly, it will mainly be on the cheeks, you know, upper lip area, the chin, the lower jaw. For me, I didn't have, I barely had any on my lip, I didn't really have on my chin. I mainly had it on my cheeks and my lower jaw. Another place, I didn't get it though. A lot of people can get it on their chest as well, uh, just due to, like I said, you know, hair is gonna grow on your chest, wherever the area that will, you know, where hair is prone to grow, you will get acne. Now, for me, the acne thing lasted until my second year going on third year. Once I went on my third year, acne was completely gone. Now, in some cases, there are really, really lucky FTM men out there who do not or just barely get any acne at all. And if you're one of those, I mean, you guys are super lucky because it does happen. And, and if it doesn't happen to you, that's great. But if it does happen, you know, you're going through a process. You're going through transformation, you know, it will go away. Don't worry, it goes away, okay? It won't last forever. It will just be most likely your first three years of taking testosterone after that you know my face is clear my body is clear i don't have any acne scar the most important thing i want to do tell you about that i want to tell you about um the acne thing is you really need to take care of it um i have some cases of my friends who have really bad breakout of acne and what i recommend to do it doesn't matter if it's a bad breakout or a little breakout, but really got to take care of it. You know, if it's bad enough to the point where you're getting, you're starting to get insecure about it or you can't control it, go to the dermatologist, go to the clinic, get it taken care of. It really helps. Um, 
And like I said, because you're going to start sweating a lot, that really affects the formation of where your acne is going to be just because of the dirt and the bacteria that's building up. You know, keep yourself clean, be really hygienic. What I did was, you know, I had a lot of foam. I had a lot of the, the, um, the acne foam that I would wash my face. I would always try to keep my face dry every time there'd be oil. I always try to wash my face with water and I would uh, wash my face with the, the, the foam once a day. And what I did with my back was I had the big loofah and I would scrub my back uh, every day, you know, and have, you know, the antibacterial soaps that really helps as well. Like I said, you really got to take care of your skin, especially scrubbing. That's one thing I do recommend you get the, get the glove that's the scrubber or get the, the stick that helps scrub because what that does, it gets rid of dead skin cells, dead, <laughs> dead skin cells and it really helps your, you know, clean up the part of your back and really prevents acne from coming back again. Do not pop your acne <laughs> as much and you know, as tempting as it is, you know, try really not to pop it because what ends up happening when you pop it, obviously it's not rocket science. You know, more bacteria goes in your skin and more will grow on that area. You know, that happened to me too. I popped a few, I popped one, and then three would grow back at that same area. So please do not do that. Now, you know, it's a process, it's part of transforming, it's part of becoming the man you were meant to be. Um, and, you know, this is just a bit of advice that I can give you that maybe can help you on your journey if you are struggling with acne or if you're not struggling with acne, but just, you know, keep in mind that all of this is just it's part of your growing, you know? You will, and trust me, the acne will go away. It will just take some time. So just think of yourself going through puberty, you're that newborn teenage boy that you were meant to go through puberty that first time. So enjoy it, have fun with it, take care of yourself, keep yourself clean, and I hope you enjoy the way your body is blossoming. Now, that's all I have for today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.